Shut up and sit down. All right. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Earth Guru. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I returned from Earth 2018 last night, uh, very late, very close to midnight. Uh, it was an amazing show. I had a great opportunity not only to volunteer and help out, uh, but meet some really interesting people, people that I've been uh, you know, watching on YouTube for a while and people that I, I had never met before and never seen before on, on the interwebs. <clears throat> So I just want to walk you through real quickly some of the, the swag that I ended up getting um, and some of the things that I actually purchased. So let's just start off with uh, the kind of basics right here. Um, if you don't have the opportunity to go to Earth, the inaugural uh, uh, program, <clears throat> I handed out probably uh, probably close to 80 of these when I was working on the registration desk. Uh, uh, so it, it's real simple, it just shows all the uh, sponsors and whatnot, but it also lists who was there. I have my... Uh, my Earth badge right here, put my name on it, my uh, Twitter handle, uh, and the blue lanyard that says that I was a volunteer, so that's amazing. Thank you, Chris, very much. Uh, one thing that I purchased while I was there, this, this filament. <laughs> uh, more importantly, it is tangerine, oops, let's focus in on that guy, All right? Tangerine orange, metallic gold. It is the Tom 3DP metallic orange filament. If you haven't seen the video, I'll try and link it up there. Uh, it looks really cool. I saw some things printed with it. A bunch of people were actually printing at the show with it, so super cool there. Um, so I got this from Protopost. It's on sale. It went on sale yesterday. Uh, I think it's uh, $29.99 a, a, a roll, if I remember properly. Um, so some other swag. I got uh, just a small number of maker coins here. I, I picked up just the ones that I was interested in. I'm gonna zoom in on this guy. Uh, so let's do this right about there. Uh, so this is a maker coin I picked up, and I got it because it was in the Elixir uh, series, uh, the color that I haven't yet tried yet. So I want to try that out. Got the dogs barking in the background. That's awesome. And I got this nice little cool maker coin. Um, from uh, John and Ken, they had a whole bunch, uh, but interesting, it's got this nice little twist to it. I hope you guys can see that. It's very cool. Uh, and then on the back, it's got this uh, tiger claw, which I thought was kind of cool. So, all right, next I wanna just kind of show you some of the swags. So let us not forget the Earth sticker. So I got a couple of these. We'll be putting that up on the wall back, yeah, back there. <laughs> and when I finally get around to it, um, one thing I want to talk about real quick, if you guys haven't seen this, because I hadn't, this is something I stumbled across, it looks very interesting. So it's, uh, it's uh, going to be on Kickstarter soon, I guess, but it's a, um, a 3D printer uh, you can mix different colors with. It is different than the, the, the Venturi model, and uh, not the Venturi, it is different than the uh, mosaic uh, thing that slices them and kind of fuses them together and, and the, the multi-material unit. So, um, you put in the primary colors and you can mix the colors not only in G-code uh, but manually as well. So I'll be looking for this. If you guys are interested, maybe I'll put a link down below. It's not out on, on the Kickstarter yet, but that was really cool. That's something I stumbled across. Um, <clears throat> got some uh, Matter Hacker stickers. That's awesome. They were amazing. Um, how I do it. Uh, not sticker. Uh, it is 3D printed with adhesive on the back. So this is cool. Never thought about doing this. This is something I might try. I'm not entirely sure if this is just double-sided tape or how this works um, to try that out. So if you don't uh, know how I do it, check it out. Very cool. Uh, let's see, Maker, Maker Box and uh, E3D there. So they had a lot of different things there at E3D booth. I did not get a chance to check out too much of that stuff, um, but they also had um, printed solid. We we're selling a whole bunch of filaments. They sold out of every color and type that I wanted. On the first day, they said they were going to restock and bring some back today. Um, not up there today, obviously, for a variety of reasons. But I talked to uh, I talked to them, and uh, they were very, very nice. And uh, if you don't get an opportunity to support them, I, I say that you should. So, um, <clears throat> BuildTac, talk to them. They make a custom uh, build plate for the Prusa now, so might be checking that out. Uh, I destroyed my PEI bed probably about uh, almost a uh, year and a half, two years ago now. Um, I shouldn't say I destroyed it because I'm still using it, but there's a big hole in it, and it's kind of annoying kind of print around it. So uh, I mentioned uh, Protopasta. Well, I print with glitter. I have I print uh, the, the original one from uh, years ago that I got in a box, but this one I print with glitter because I do, because I have the Joel Telling, and now I have the Tom's 3P. Uh, a couple unique things here I got. Um, 
ran into Lauren and uh, Nick of Abuzz Designs and Van Full Puppies. Um, Abuzz Designs, right? That's awesome. Uh, more importantly, though, I ran into uh, Drew of Osh Park. So if you guys don't know uh, what Osh Park is, I'm going to zoom in on this. Um, they make printed circuit boards, <clears throat> um, but they're one of the very first uh, uh, companies to support open source hardware making and, and do a, a purple uh, solder mask, uh, which is uh, it, back in the day when we were making printed circuit boards, your choices were green, uh, green, and green. <laughs> now you have some choices in colors, but they are making purple. They're very cool. Um, if you get an opportunity to support them, I highly recommend it. But more importantly, Drew's business cards, <laughs> love them. Uh, he had a whole bunch in his pocket. I only got an opportunity to score one. Uh, so this is the Osh Park one. Let me, there you go. Perfect purple P, uh, PCBs. And then, uh, if you want to get a hold of Drew, there you go, Drew at Oshpark.com. Uh, so Drew had his, um, um, what was it called, Oshcat. Um, it has its own Twitter, as it turns out. I just followed it this morning. So um, Ice 3D had some good stuff there. It had some big, massive spools of filament. I think they were uh, 10 kilos, if I remember properly. I did not get a price for them. Didn't really have any ability to, well, I guess suppose I could have got it home, but I have no ability to print with it without printing a whole new print holder. Uh, so that was interesting there. But more importantly, last but not least, I uh, ran into Travis from I A Pyro Designs. He was so kind to provide these awesome stickers. They are vinyl, laser cut. He's like, you want one? I said, yeah, absolutely. And he's like, I picked out the black one. He's like, hey, I got a red one too. Why don't you take both? And I'm like, absolutely take both. But more importantly, this is the piece de resistance, right? Um, here we go. Look at that. Pink Mafia. Um, I don't have any of these. They're limited edition from what I understand. And now I do. So, Heather, thank you so much. Last but not least, I just want to note uh, this. I ran into these guys. It's this 3D goop. Uh, it's a new type of uh, bed adhesion, but you know, also use it to smooth as well as glue parts together. PLA and ABS right now. They're working on PETG. Um, so this is on Kickstarter right now. It closes in a couple days if you're interested. Uh, I guess you can go onto the the, the uh, Kickstarter and find them, or you can go to the website here. Uh, focus a little bit. 3dgoop.com. Um, I'm not really pimping them. I haven't used them necessarily. Just saying if you're interested, it's out there and it's something cool and something neat. The last thing I just want to show you is, uh, so I bought the roll of filament. <clears throat> I restrained myself, didn't buy any more filament other than that. But I did buy this um, PT, um, uh, PTFE Bowden tubing for my uh, CR-10. Talked to these guys for a while. Um, this is a uh, high quality Bowden tubing that is, uh, if you can feel it, it actually feels slimy, <laughs> uh, super, super smooth. Um, so uh, I talked to him for a while. He convinced me to buy it. Uh, and, you know, during the show sale, it was only $8 for this meter of this tubing. I guess um, Chuck Hellebuck uh, just did a, a segment on a video. I haven't seen it yet. Um, last Friday, I guess, on the Filament Friday about putting this on the CR-10, and I was complaining about my CR-10, <laughs> actually, and he's like, hey, Chuck just did a video about this, you should buy this, and so, hey, Chuck, um, uh, I bought it, we'll see how it goes, maybe I'll make a video about it, um, probably don't have to, though, because uh, Chuck already did, more importantly, as part of the show, the uh, free uh, little cutter to make nice, sharp corners on the tubing, um, so that's going to be cool, um, and if you're interested, I'll probably leave a link down to this down below. Again, I don't have any experience with it right now, but it's just something uh, that looked good and looked interesting. And uh, Chuck uh, said it does a good job in his video. Again, haven't seen it, but we'll see. Lots of other things out there. I made a, uh, a little montage video of all the things that I saw and all the people that I met. Uh, well, not all the people I met, but most of the people I met, all the people I was able to get a picture of. Um, didn't uh, get a chance to take a lot of video. In fact, I really didn't take any useful video other than some uh, clips here and there. You'll see that in a montage video. I will link that up there as well. I posted that this morning. Uh, I'll try to get this edited and posted sometime today uh, for the people who are interested in what happened at the Earth. Um, but uh, hey, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below if you like the video. Thumbs up, as always. If you don't, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Definitely ring that bell. Important to subscribe these days. And if you want to be notified of new content, ring that bell. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. I'm glad you got this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Have a great day.